Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire! Let me quickly give you three keys. There are three keys that help people maximize seasons, especially prophetic seasons like Jubilee. I will run through them. Number one is called discernment. Discernment is the faculty of spiritual perception. The ability to perceive men for what they stand for spiritually when elijah was going to go elisha told him i desire a double portion of your anointing he said if you can see me was he not looking at him he that receives a prophet as touching the office you can receive a prophet in the name of your brother what you will receive is information about the family welfare that's a brother's reward Please listen, discernment. The Lord was in this place and I knew not. Discernment. Discernment. Two men were going to Emmaus and the resurrected Christ was in their midst. But because they lacked discernment, proximity does not just mean you will be blessed. It takes discernment. They were with Jesus and yet it had no effect on them. The Bible says they sat at table when he broke the bread. Their eyes were opened and he vanished. He didn't have the time again to talk with them. A season of discussion, they probably would have become apostles too like Paul. If they maximized that time. But time was going and their eyes were closed. Discernment. The miracle of open eyes is a real miracle. Then open he their understanding that they might understand scripture. Hallelujah. Listen, if your eyes is closed, you can stand near breakthrough. You can stand near anointed people and never have the eyes that see. The Bible says in Sodom and Gomorrah, are we still together now? We're about to pray that in Sodom and Gomorrah, when the angels came, to the house of Lot. The man here wanted to sodomize the angels and Lot was even willing to give his daughters. And the Bible says the people refused, they were hesitant. And what happened was that the angels drew Lot in and struck them with blindness. And the Bible says they wearied themselves in front of the door. In front of where? In front of an opportunity. In front of an anointing. In front of a season. But because your hand can be well, if your eyes is closed, you will weary yourself. Someone needs to pray. This man I'm always calling my father. This woman I'm always calling my mother. This one I'm always calling my elder brother. This one I'm always calling a CEO. Who is he in the spirit? What grace was upon this woman that even though she did not go to school, she raised eight children without begging. That is more than hard work. There is an anointing behind the frail, uneducated woman. If all you are seeing is just mama who can set firewood, you will not receive anything. But the day you look at someone who is captain over many, a woman who did not go to school and raise children, and the least of them is a noble personality, there is a grace. You need to start seeing men for what they stand for in the spirit. He said, no we, no man after the flesh. Is someone learning? So number one, discernment. Number two, the obedience of faith. Seasons will always demand that you take action. Seasons will always demand that you take action. The awareness of the seasons alone does not bring you breakthrough. The man in John 5 knew the season, but he did not have the grace nor the skill to take the action while i am trying i made efforts mm. this is where wisdom is profitable to direct because when the axe head is blunt there will be efforts but there will be wastage you need the grace and the wisdom that directs the action for someone there is a season 
where God tells you go and register that company first there is an unusual grace nationally territorially and spiritually there is a vista that has been opened for certain things there are certain people when a season opens for you you should go into fasting and prayer immediately because there is a grace that God is releasing it's like an unusual portal if you were not in the upper room on the day of Pentecost even if you went to ease yourself that is it because the, 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 it came on only those who were there if you had attended the lecture for long and you say listen let me run and go and greet my mother you will return back and find out the Holy Ghost God loves everybody but he visited those who were waiting in the room when you discern seasons it's a call for responsibility for someone you are in a season right now where you have an opportunity to establish strategic relationships because according to the law of seasons rainy season always comes with a letter from dry season i am coming dry season always comes with a letter from rainy season don't just enjoy rainy season read the letter that it came with every season comes with a letter from another season coming this was the mystery of pharaoh's dream it says five um, um, uh, 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 the, the seven seven fatted calves and then the lean ones ate them twice and Joseph said it's the same thing God is showing you a modus operandi that cannot change for these seven years now make maxi for someone God is giving you this window of opportunity stop living a fake life maximize build relationships build capacity because there is something called your season of appearing and John remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing. Man of God, now that nobody has identified your grace yet, now that nobody is placing a demand on you, don't go around saying invite me. Prepare for the seasons so that when the time comes, you, you have, would have built stamina to survive the demand. Because if you fail in the day of battle, if you turn aside, the diagnosis is that your strength small number three the third way we maximize seasons is through the mystery of sacrifice please listen listen sacrifice is not all about money in fact sacrifice is not even about anything material it's a spiritual transaction so when I say sacrifice, don't just shut your mind to think you are talking of money. Money is the least expression of sacrifice. The first sacrifice is you. Please listen carefully. Sacrifice. The Bible says, gather unto me my saints, Psalm 50 and verse 5. They that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. When Baal refused to answer and the prophets of Baal exhausted all their skill and their option, the last key to provoke the realm of the spirit in their thoughts and imagination was to lacerate themselves. They started by lacerating the animals. It did not work. They came to themselves. There is something called a living sacrifice. He said, I beseech you, brethren, Romans 12 and verse 1, that you offer your bodies unto God a living sacrifice he calls it holy and acceptable unto God and the Bible says it is your reasonable worship or act of service and then verse 2 says do not be conformed to this world is the Greek word aeon it says but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may be able to prove that which that good acceptable and perfect will of God Paul said, let no man trouble me. I bear upon my body. It is not only the anointing that is on me. There is a scar that is a testament that I stretch myself to maximize seasons. There are times where you pray like never before. There are times you fast like never before. There are times that you give like never before. There are times you serve like never before. Seasons. Word of life, hear me. When a visitation came to the house of Cornelius in Acts chapter 10, I hope you know that was the foundation of the experience of the Gentiles into the faith. From chapter 1 of Acts to chapter 9, no Gentile 
had the privilege of partaking of that life because salvation was for the Jews first. Let me show you somebody who pulled the testimony of salvation from the Jews to reach the Gentiles. When Peter came to the house of Cornelius, the angel appeared to Cornelius and he said two things. There were two things that made this possible. One, your prayer. Two, your arms. This is what brought me. Sacrifice is never complete. There is a difference between giving and sacrifice. The difference is that it will cost you. I will not give unto God anything. People have abused the issue of sacrifice. Once you hear sacrifice, people just think you can give a lot of money and not give sacrifice. Because it's not about money. God is not a politician. God is not a, I mean, he's a God of heaven. You can carry money and drop it and the realm of the spirit says nonsense. Because if there is a vetting system in the realm of the spirit before a man's giving is approved. The Macedonian church first gave on themselves before their substance. Is someone hearing now? But let me tell you sincerely, even God, as powerful as God is, he did not change the season of sin and the dominion of sin over man by casting it. God did not cast sin out of man, even though he was the creator of the heavens and the earth. He did not send angel Michael. He didn't send Gabriel. He didn't send the four living creatures. When it was time for him to take the issue of the destiny of man serious, he sent his son. He's only begotten at that point. John chapter 3, this was Jesus himself teaching Nicodemus the dynamics of the kingdom. He came to him by night. The Bible says Nicodemus came to him by night and said, Rabbi, we know that thou art a man sent from God. For no man can do these miracles except God be with him. And that began the discussion that led to chapter 16. For God so loved the world that he gave. God so loved the world. He knew that there was a season, an opportune time. And he gave Jesus. When Jesus was at Gethsemane, he was almost tempted to renegotiate salvation. Can you take this cup off me? But God was determined to see that men are saved. If you use 1,000 naira to buy a drink, it means you value that drink more than the 1,000. That's why you are able to part with it. So the, the apostle said, Behold, what manner of love the father has bestowed upon us because he conferred us he brought us as many sons today jesus is not the only begotten of the father he is the firstborn among we the begotten because of sacrifice please hear me please hear me i'm wrapping up now whether it is satan you serve or jesus you serve you will always walk with the law of sacrifice if you choose and donate yourself to the devil the first thing he will demand of you is sacrifice you choose to serve a herbalist the first thing he would demand is sacrifice you come to god it is in the matter of sacrifice that both god and satan agree that it is a law escaping sacrifice using the guise of christianity is a joke let me tell you sincerely and i submit to you there are dimensions you will never step into until you understand the mystery of sacrifice. I wish I had time. I would have told you my stories. Don't think people just come out of nowhere. That, that is a joke. The realm of the spirit is so strict in its operation. You cannot bribe your way through. Mm -mm. Ask Cain and Abel. They, you, you, you can't manipulate your way through. He suffered no man to do them wrong. He reproved kings for their sake. You know why? Because there is blood dripping upon their altar. When a, a death sentence came by a genuine prophet in chapter 38 of Isaiah to Hezekiah, he said, okay, I respect your ministry. I can't doubt you. You have a credible voice, but leave me on God. He turned his face to the wall. He didn't say, God, add yes. He said, remember. When did you change, oh God? When have you started ignoring sacrifices? Have you forgotten? Can I tell you the truth? There are men who are standing today upon the sacrifices of many years they have built. It has risen as a memorial in the realm of the spirit. Yes, sir. When Cain killed Abel, 
he thought everything was all right the blood of abel went to the altar in heaven and started crying and god had that voice there are people you cannot touch the blood upon their altar has a potent voice no enchantment and no divination against them can stand hallelujah please rise up on your feet forget about acquisition acquisition is tertiary the primary goal of lifting use it quickly oh fire let your mind be holy god's fire